my channel, it's Caitlin and today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions for you. I have a bunch of makeup sitting next to me and I'm just going to go ahead and create some sort of makeup look for you and let you guys know what I think of the makeup. Without further ado, I think I will just get on and try out some new products for you. So let's get into it. So first up, to get started, I'm going to be priming my face using this new primer here. It is a mineral primer from Young Blood. It is a gel consistency, if you can see here, so hopefully it will smooth my skin out quite nicely. It has naturally rich ingredients, vitamins and minerals, and it's paraben free, which is always good for your skin. And also I can see on the back that it's cruelty free as well, which is a huge, huge bonus as well. I'm just going to take one pump to be safe, and pat this on my face. I'm not using any studio lights today, so I hope the lighting is okay. I just kind of couldn't be bothered setting them all up. So first impressions is making my skin super super soft, super silky, which is really great because I have quite rough skin, not gonna lie. My skin is quite textured, just from previous like spots and scarring, it's not the nicest, but this is making my skin feel really really nice. So the foundation which I'm going to be using is from the Body Shop. This is the Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. The Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. Mattifying clay and purifying tea trees. So hopefully this helps my skin. My skin is not the best at the moment so anything that says it's going to help I'm just going to take it. Again, this product is cruelty free because it's from the body shop, so we're off to a good start so far in this video. I'm going to use this on a beauty blender. The beauty blender, which I always use, is from Look Good Feel Better Cosmetics because I just love their beauty blenders. First impressions, I really like the consistency of this foundation. Um, it's not too thick, but at the same time it's not too thin and runny that it's like going all over your face and it's not actually doing anything. Um, I've definitely used way too much though. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, a little definitely does go a long way with this foundation. I am very impressed. And my skin looks really glowy. Can you see this? It's meant to be a matte foundation. Obviously, bear in mind, if you're buying this foundation for a matte finish, it's not 100% matte. But I do love the finish of this so far. So I'm not complaining at all. So I'm quickly just going to do concealer and powder because I don't actually have anything new recently which I've bought that is a concealer or a powder. I tend to stick to my favourites with those two products so I'm just going to do those now and then move on quickly to some more new products to test out for you. So concealer and powder have been quickly done so moving on to some bronzer. I have two bronzers here both from Ciate. First of all can we talk about the packaging? It's so beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with this packaging. So as I said, I've got two bronzers here. They are just slightly different shades to each other, so I think I'm just going to use both because I cannot decide. The first one which I'm going to use is this one here. This is the shade Palm Island and it's just a little bit lighter and I feel like it's completely matte, whereas this one has shimmer in it and this one is darker and it's the shade South Beach. So I'm going to use this one for just general bronzing and then I'm going to go in a little bit darker with this one for a little bit of contour. It just looks so perfect, I don't want to ruin it. Ooh, this is such a pretty shade for just general bronzing. It's working really, really well with my skin. I feel like it's very easy to blend as well, which is what you need for a bronzer because otherwise you end up looking muddy. You better edit that out. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> that your feature for the year. And then I'm just going to go a little bit darker with this one here. And this one is shimmery, so I don't want to use too much. For the bronzers, I really, really like them. I definitely do prefer the paler one to the darker one just because the paler one, I feel, is more matte. The darker one is just a little bit too dark for me and also it has shimmer in it which is just not 
my ideal bronzer. Moving on to blusher, I have this palette here from MUA. This is the MUA Luxe Bashful Blush Trio in number one. So this one here, which I have, has three shades. You've got a corally orange one, a darker pink one, and a lighter pink. So I think for this look, I'm just gonna take this light pink here and possibly might mix in a little bit of the darker one if I feel like the lighter one is just a little bit too light. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout. So for the blusher, I took a mixture of these two shades here. I do really like this shade on its own. It was like a really pretty, almost pinky highlight shade, but I did feel like I needed a little bit of this just to make it look more like a blusher. The pigmentation isn't super intense, but I do like that in a blusher because I don't want a super strong color on my cheek anyway. So I am pretty happy with how it turned out. On to highlight, I'm going back to another Ciate product. I got these all in one package and I couldn't help but throw this one in to the video as well. This is the Starburst highlight from Ciate and it looks insane. It's so, so pretty. I picked up for this video the more golden one, which I've already dug my nail into. I don't know if you can see, but I've already ruined the super pretty packaging, which is so annoying. But I'm going to be trying this out on my skin in this video because I just can't wait. And this is in the shade Starburst, if I didn't already say. Definitely loving this highlighter. It definitely is super, super golden, more golden than the pan suggests. On my skin, it's definitely ultra gold. So if you're on the more paler side, then I don't think this would work very well. But if you like super strong golden highlighters, then you will love, you will love this highlighter. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using this product here. This is again by Lottie. I'm sorry for the overload. Of Lottie products in this video. So this is the Arch Rival by Lottie. It is a little eyebrow kit. It comes with tweezers and a brush and also three products here and it comes with a mirror on the box which is super super handy. So moving on to eyes, I'm firstly going to start off by using some new shadows which I've got from Colourpop. So the first one which I'm going to use is this exciting colour here. This is in the shade Drift and it's just a super pretty bright cranberry colour and it's got some shimmer through it. So I thought I would start off this look by just applying this all over my eyelid and seeing where I go from there. Oh my goodness, this is so pigmented. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be so difficult to blend. I'm just gonna take this shade from the blusher palette and actually hopefully try and blend this out a little bit more using that shade. The next product which I had to try out in this video is this product here. This is a eyeshadow paint from Rimmel. It's in the shade Golden Bronze and honestly I don't know if putting this on my eyes is going to make my eyes look better or if I'm going to ruin this whole eyeshadow look. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like a half cut crease with this and then I'll put some winged liner on the edge and just hopefully this will all come together nicely. Wish me luck. That product is so freaking cool. It is so pigmented. That is insane. I need more of these in my life. <gasps> the other ColourPop shadow which I have to try out in this video is this one here. I'm thinking I'm just gonna quickly pop this on the outer corner of my eye because I feel like we need to darken that up slightly. So this one here is in the shade Mittens and it's a matte cream shadow and I'm just gonna quickly blend this on the outer part of my eye to darken it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
all I'm gonna do now is just take some of that blusher and run it along my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take this pencil liner from Lottie and this is in the shade Sunburst, which is the bright golden color. So I'm gonna take this along my lower lash line and put it in my inner corner as well. And hopefully this will help brighten up my eyes and it's such a pretty golden color, so I'm really excited to use this. This is so pretty and sparkly, oh my goodness. Can you see that? It's so sparkly. So now I'm just gonna use some liquid eyeliner and do a wing because I've not done a wing in a makeup look for so, so long. So the eyeliner, which I'm gonna be using for the first time today is by Ico. This is the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash. I don't understand what the wide lash means. It looks super, super thin and precise. So hopefully I can get a really nice wing with this. Okay, so I did my eyeliner, I got a little bit carried away and ended up doing it a little bit too thick, but it's fine. It was a really good eyeliner, I did enjoy using it. Also from Ico for my eyes, I'm going to be using this mascara to finish off my eyes and then we can move on and finish with lips. So the mascara which I've got here is the Lash Alert Mascara from Ico. I'm not going to be putting this on my top lashes because I have eyelash extensions on but I will be using it on my lower lashes today. So this is what the product looks like. Ooh, this is a good mascara. I am usually super picky with mascaras, so when I enjoy one, it's very rare. But I definitely am enjoying this one. Finally, to finish off this makeup look, I'm gonna be doing my lips, and I'm gonna be taking this shade here from Coloured Rain, I think that's how you pronounce this brand. You can get these on Beauty Bay if you're wondering. And this is in the shade Marshmallow, I believe. I believe this is in the shade Marshmallow. the completed full face of first impressions and new products which I wanted to test out on camera with you. If I had to pick a few favourites from all the ones which I chose, I definitely loved the foundation which was from Body Shop. I also absolutely loved the lipstick which I'm wearing right now which is Marshmallow from Colour Drain. It has such a lightweight consistency and it doesn't dry out your lips. I can't feel it on my lips right now when I'm speaking which is amazing for a liquid lipstick and also my all-time favourites from this video, which have just completely blown me away, are these two products here. This one, which is the Copper Liquid Eyeshadow from Rimmel, and then this eyeliner here by Lottie, which is in the shade Sunburst, is insane. So these two are definitely my all-time favourites from this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would love it if you give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, then I would obviously love it if you subscribed. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!